Okay, just going to demonstrate how to do a hill start in the, with the automatic. This is a Volvo FH16, uh, 600 horsepower, so it doesn't have any problems getting up the hill. Uh, so the technique we use right now, I've got the park brake on. Um, I'm in uh, automatic mode. My feet are off the pedals. Um, so to do the hill start, what we first need is just a little bit of power, a little bit of accelerator, so you can feel that the truck actually wants to move, not too much, we don't need to push it too hard. Just a little bit of power and then just release this brake. And just wait a moment, because it takes a moment for the brakes to actually release the air brakes, and then you can pull away smoothly there. Uh, I'll just stop and do one more, so I'm indicating to the left, just pulling over next to the curb, checking the mirrors when I stop. Once you've stopped the truck, use your foot brakes to actually stop, then pull those maxis on, then release your foot brake. So you don't have, you don't need your brake, foot brake and park brake on, it's one or the other. When it's time to do your hill start, first of all, you need to indicate, because we're pulling out from the curb here. So five seconds, I'm checking the mirrors, checking outside the window to make sure it's all safe. When I know it's all safe, hang on, there's a car behind me, I'll just wait for them to get past. Okay, we'll try that again. Indicate for five seconds before I move off to the curb. Checking out my mirrors, uh, checking my mirrors, checking outside the window to make sure it's all fine. A little bit of accelerator, so there's a little bit of power, so you can feel that the truck's actually wanting to go. Then I release this brake. There's a delay reaction because it's air brakes. It takes a while for the air to actually release and the brake pads to go off, and then it pulls away smoothly like that. Uh, I'll just demonstrate what not to do. pull over next to the curb again. What not to do? First of all, when you pull the brake on, keeping your foot on the brake, it's just one or the other, we don't need both. Uh, what not to do is release the brake and have the truck roll backwards, that's not in control. So I'll just pull that brake on. Uh, another thing what not to do is too much power, because that means your engine and your truck's wanting to go, but your brakes are holding back, so there's a lot of stress and strain, so not too much power. The other thing is with these maxis here, once you give it that little bit of a power, don't release it easy, just turn the whole thing off straight away. You don't need to ease the brake off, because that does that anyway, because of the air pressure. Once it releases, the brake pads release off gently. So that's how you do your hill start. I'll do one more. So I've stopped with my foot brake, pull that park brake on. By the way, this is a really steep hill we're uh, actually on at the moment, so that's why you're getting a bit of a shake there. Uh, indicate out for five seconds, a little bit of accelerator, a little bit of power, and then release the brake, and then wait for the brake pads to release, and then we can actually start to accelerate. So that's your hill start. Okay, I just want to explain how the hill assist uh, works. Now that's the button just under here. I don't know if you can see it there. This is hill assist. So what I've done, I've actually stopped the truck right now. I'm still in automatic mode at the gears. I've got my foot on the brake, so I'm not rolling anywhere. Uh, but so, when I take off, I don't roll backwards. What I can do is push this button in. The light will come out. Now what happens, it'll light up on the dashboard as well to tell you that the uh, hill assist is on. Now if I take my foot off the brake, the brake will remain on for a moment until I bring enough power up with the accelerator. See it? It holds on for a couple of seconds. You can feel it actually released there. Because well, my explanation took a long time, it, uh, it released in the time. So I'll just do that again. I'll, I'll turn it on. You'll see the light up on the dashboard. There's the eye and there's the hill assist. You take your foot off the brake. You apply your accelerator. And when it feels there's enough torque and the truck has it under control, that brake will then release. I'll just do that again. I'll come to a stop. I've got the hill assist engaged, it lights up on the dashboard by taking my foot off the brake and onto accelerator, I've got control, I'm not rolling backwards. I'll just show you what happens when I'm not using hill assist in the same scenario. When you take your foot off the brake, it actually rolls backwards. So that hill assist avoids that rolling backwards. So if you're, if you're on a hill and you're taking off, you've got two options. You've got the hill assist button or you've got this park brake. Uh, if you're doing a driving test, you'll have to use this park brake to demonstrate you can do a, a hill start. And they won't, uh, this using your hill assist won't count as the hill start in your driving test in Queensland. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate again. I'll push the button on, it'll light up on the dashboard. Now, when I take my foot off the brake, I've got a second or two before I can hit the accelerator. The brake will release when it feels the engine's got enough torque. 